All right, so Jeff Perry, what do we have here? We've got a Beck Speedster. It's not the real deal, but it's a hell of a cool car. And uh, for us, you know, in our business, we'll buy anything from a thousand dollar car to a two hundred thousand dollar car. Well, plus, your I your business is to make a profit, so you don't turn your nose up on German, Japanese, American. Uh, kit car, tribute car, right. whatever you want right. to call it, clone car. If you can buy it for this and sell it for this much more, then you're in, right? Oh, totally. And, and I think these are a lot of fun. I mean, if this was a real bathtub speedster, we'd be looking at two, three, four hundred thousand right. now. And I, I, who would take that out in this kind of weather? You so <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't. What are these things going for? And these guys are the guys who build the 550s as well make some pretty fun, fun well, little cars. Well, what you'll see is on the show, I mean, the, the gentleman bought it new for 37 grand, mm -hmm. and he's it's got 28,000 kilometers on it, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and uh, we just picked it up on the show for 13 grand. So, well, that's good. Yeah. And now, okay. how much do you want to do to it before you sell it again? I mean, obviously there's that balance between, well, if you're selling your house, you want to freshen it up with a coat of paint, maybe, or clean the carpets. That's you know, 80 bucks in materials, but you don't want to start tearing down walls. No. Because now you may be sinking in more than you're going to get out of the place. So, what are a couple of tips? Like, you know, just sort of first place the eyeballs go to. Right. Like, if you just got a hundred bucks or, or a limited amount to spend on a car and you're going to flip it. What's A number one and A and B number two? My biggest pet peeves when, when I'm looking at a car like this is, is, is the first thing you see is the steering wheel because you're right. behind it all the time. Right. So for me, if I had a hundred bucks to spend on this car and that's all I had to do, I'd probably look for a really cool, you know, the wood, real authentic looking speed, Porsche Speedster steering wheel. And that would kind of finish off right. this car nicely. Yeah, because that, that's what you call, in this car, it's kind of a tell. Like, yeah. I, I, I don't know enough about Porsches, and this car is a good enough replica where I wouldn't say anything if you said, but I'd go, whoa, what's up with the wheel? Right. Yeah. You'd say, hey, <laughs> right. what are you thinking about that wheel? Yeah, yeah, that you don't yeah. want the <laughs> Boys replica wheel. See, you're like me. I, I'm the same way. We, we, I change, they say I have a steering wheel fetish. But he does. the truth of he it does. is, I change steering wheels out because I feel like that's, you know, the feel of the wheel makes the deal. And you get behind the wheel, and you're driving this car, and you're feeling that, and it, and it looks right, and it fits. We have an entire wall in the shop of you that's steering dedicated wheels. to the steering wheels that he's ripped off of cars yeah. and hangs on. And wheels and tires. Another big thing for me oh, is yeah. wheel and tire combinations have to be right. Yeah. You know, right. like I, I can't, I do a lot of replicas and, you know, um, and I'll buy a lot of Cobra kit cars. I love them. They're fast, they're fun. They're cheap. They're, they're cheap. Let someone but else when fail, somebody build has them and they got the Cobra R wheels on them and they don't have the Halibrands, that's yeah. the first thing I got to change. You right. know, no, I. Gotta, I Put those knockoffs. I I completely I completely agree on the wheels. I I, I don't like it when they step up to too tall a wheel oh, for the car no. too. I want to see the right ratio. It's like a hot dog meat to bun ratio. <laughs> you got a huge slab of meat in there and a little tortilla around it. It doesn't look right, right. you know. So you have exactly. to have that balance because that's what the '60s had. They had the '60s yeah. series. Mm -hmm. Literally, it's the '60s and the '60s series tires on there so you don't want to see a little rubber band going around a big rim and also i try to tell people all the time whether you're doing a house or doing a car it's not up to what for you to decide what looks best right now it's what looks best on the car when the car came out of the factory Correct. or supposedly came out of the factory back if it's a replica mm -hmm. that's the job and we see that a lot you'll see people that have like put a lot of love and a lot of time and made a very nice car but when it came to their wheel choices, they, you're like, well, I think wow. what I think what happens like, is, is, is and you know right. this, if you went to, a, if you're building a hot rod, let's say, or you're building a muscle car, you're building a pro touring car, and the last thing you're going to do is put the wheels and tires on it when you finish that car, because most of the time it's going to get rolled into paint, rolled right, into right, tire, right, right. rolled into it's gonna have rollers yeah, it's, on it. It's going to rollers, right? And what happens is a lot of people don't plan ahead, so they all of a sudden they're like, okay, I need wheels and tires, and they run down to the tire store and they go. This is what I want to get. And the guy goes, oh, that'll be six to eight weeks. 
And they're like, right. oh, shit. Oh, yeah. I got to wait six to eight weeks to drive my car? No, I'm excited, I'll take the yeah. torque thrusters. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But also, <laughs> there, there is no accounting for bad taste. And a lot of people have bad mm -hmm. taste. That's they correct. buy, they get, it drives me nuts, they get, they buy Aston Martins and they do it black on black oh, and yeah. they, not, they kill the lines of the car. Then they put some triple chrome crappy rims on it with a huge lip and a 25 series tire. And it's like 900 pounds of the car. <laughs> completely fucked up this entire beautiful You should go with green with red. Here. That'd be a better car. <laughs> you know what I mean? I like the way you think, so, Jeff. Let me, well, that's me. That's, see, what we look for, and we didn't really say it in there, but I'll tell you now is we love cars with stories. With, right. you know, racing history, celebrity, movie car, or just oddball stuff. Like, I love when I can buy a car, like I did with this, I bought a 63 and a half uh, Galaxy 500, mm -hmm. and it was pink mm -hmm. with white interior. Mm -hmm. And when you opened it up, it was original, the car had never been repainted. The interior had never been redone. And on the plate from Ford, it was blank on paint and interior. Yeah. Come to find out doing some research, the lady we bought the car from was Playmate of the Year in 1963, and Hugh Hefner gave her that car. Yeah. Wow. To me, that's cool. Absolutely. You know, that's a, and you, there's nobody, you, can, you can't shop those cars. They're the best you know? parts of, of the car, I think, are the stories. As a matter of fact, when I leave here, I'm meeting with a guy that owns a Tucker, but it's Preston Tucker's personal car oh, that he owns. See, that's awesome. So I'm going to with that guy that, right now. But I wanted to ask you about the, the Beck, because um, some other guys actually have been asking me recently about the Beck replicas and these, these cars. What do you feel is the quality of Beck? I feel that it's in the top. I mean, if you look at look at the look at the way the door is, the mechanism, the, the attention to detail. You look at the the, the glass and just feel it and everything. Yeah. It's very solid. Yeah. Um, and it's very true to the original Speedster. It's thick. If you open the trunk and you oh, look will. at the we underside know. of the glass, you know, so many glass cars, they, they if you don't see it, they don't worry about it. But if you look inside this, it's done really nice inside. So now, what are you hoping? You bought it for the guy paid what twenty eight or you? He, he actually uh, bought it new from Beck for thirty seven thousand. Uh, thirty seven. You yes. got it for thirteen. Yes. You're looking. What are you looking for in something like this? I'm thinking the car will do between easily do between eighteen to twenty grand. And what are you putting into it? I'm probably going to spend about uh, five hundred plus. It'll probably cost me about eight hundred in shipping to get it back so to you Texas. Got, you got to get the five hundred dollar wooden steering you wheel. Know <laughs> you know it. You know it. You know where I'm. And the right? Yeah, it's, it's a lot of the detail work. This yeah. car is actually in really great this shape. This is in we'll, great shape. We'll take shape. this home and we'll just give it some love, make it nice and clean and shiny, and it, put a couple little details on it, and it'll it, be done. Is there a process that you normally go through? Do you put it on a lift and just tighten everything underneath, or, we will or go most through of the time we'll, you can just feel the way? Well, driving it around, like we drove it over here from North Hollywood. Hollywood this uh -huh. morning and, and um, you know really you can you can hear one of the hubcaps is a little loose and there's just certain little things but we'll we'll go around it we'll make sure it's really good um, we have a safety inspection that we go through in Texas yeah. so we'll do that the and guys then drove out from North High yeah it must have been nice for the guys on the on the highway going you know it's so refreshing to see a gay couple driving <laughs> and something other than a Miata you know oh, and it's right. such a Jeez. it's such oh, a right. stereotype but yes. these, these guys these you lovers, these pals, right, they're you know, doing it right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're going old school. That's why we didn't, <laughs> that's why we didn't take the highway. We <laughs> stayed on the side street. We didn't want to cause an accident. Yeah, yeah. We didn't want to cause an accident. So uh, we thought. Yeah. All right. Uh, we could go look at the. We yeah. usually fire it up. It's a Volkswagen engine. Pretty we don't, yes. need, to, we don't need to do that. I don't Plus, need I got a Tucker to go see. You got a Tucker to go that, see. I would like to go see a Tucker. All right. So, CNBC. Uh, the, the car, car chasers. The car chasers. And uh, what's a website people can go to if they want to find out times, it's listings, the things like that. Dot CNBC dot com. Yep. All right. Yeah. So until next time, this is Adam for Jeff, Perry, and Matt saying, keep the air in the spare and the bag in the wheel. <laughs> 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 <laughs>